Yo, it is Tyro, and today we're talking. We're gonna talk about what if Naruto was in Demon Slayer, part five. Now, uh, to be honest, this is probably gonna be like my last part on the series for now, mainly because this is gonna take place in the entire Mugen Train arc, and uh, until the uh, season two anime finishes the um. The, uh, I think it was called the entertainment art. I I'm probably not going to cover it because I don't want to either spoil people. And also, I'm not even that far in the manga, so I don't want to like, skip up until, uh, you know, the uh, entertainment art. So I just rather, you know, wait until the anime's done. <laughs> so uh, for now, this is probably going to be my last part. And I might even make a movie of all these parts so far. Um, without further ado, <laughs> roll the intro, man. We start with Naruto on the Mugen train. He would sit next to Rengoku and in front of a red-haired man that he didn't recognize. Tanjiro, Izenitsu, Inosuke, and Tanjiro's box, which hold Nezuko, would sit on another part of the train. Naruto, this is my old friend, Nagato Uzumaki. <laughs> Nagato would wave at Naruto. Hello, Naruto. Like Rengoku said, my name is Nagato Zomaki. I like... Like your mother, I'm a demon who refused to eat humans. Naruto would be amazed. He thought his mom was the only one. Nagato saw the confused look on Naruto's face. Well, the thing is, Uzumakis are, are known to have very strong wills. So, to be honest, it's really easy to, for us, our clan to refuse being turned into a full demon. Nagato would laugh as he would state, I'm pretty sure the Uzumaki clan is the only clan that refuses to eat humans when turned into demons. Naruto would then look at Nagato's eyes. They were purple with black rings. It almost hypnotized him. You're staring, Naruto. What's on your mind? Naruto would snap out of his gaze, hearing his voice. I'm sorry, it's just your eyes. I I've never seen anything like that before. As Nagato would reply, Don't be sorry, it's my bow demon art. It's very complicated to explain, but let's just say I have multiple of them. As Naruto would ask, Wait, multiple? But just then, a man who looked pale and sick, and almost like he hasn't eaten anything in a week, would walk up and collect people's train tickets. Your train ticket, please. His voice sounded dead. Naruto would hand Naruto, Nagato, and everybody would hand the train ticket. As Nagato had a bad feeling, he would then look in Naruto's eyes. Naruto, look at me. As then everybody went to sleep, but Nagato and Naruto knew they were asleep. What's going on? Naruto would ask. Look, Naruto. It's one of my abilities. I can tell what a blood demon art instantly looking at the demon or the blood of the demon. For example, when I looked at you, I instantly knew what your blood demon art. Your blood demon art allows you to boost the flow, boost your blood flow, and which increases the production of your muscles and your body heat. You also get this bubbly aura that you can um, conjure and pretty much turn into a claw. And the stronger you get, the more tails you'll get. That's why it's called the Nine-Tailed nine -tailed Blood Demon Art. Naruto would be surprised. I mean, he didn't even know what his de how his Demon Art even worked. All he knew is that every single time he activated, he was slightly more angry. Nagato would clap his hands, and Naruto and Nagato would wake up. Naruto, go kill the demon that's causing this. I'll wake up the others. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, and don't look at his direction. I know that would be hard, but if you do, he can put you back to sleep again, and that will be trouble. Big trouble. Because of Nagato's soft words, he normally would, like, you know, try and fight it, telling Nagato to do it, but he couldn't resist but do what he asked. Naruto would use Eye of Storm to try and figure out where the demon was. 
It didn't work, so he had to use Eye of Storm constant while moving. He eventually figured out he was on the roof and jumped up there. I didn't expect you guys to break out of my gaze. My dreams. And Mu would stay. Naruto would just keep his eyes closed. Hmm, how was your dream? I thought I made it very pleasant. I mean, seeing your mother, father again? Who would pass that up? Naruto would just keep his eyes closed. Hmm, well, that sucks. It looks like I might have to put you back to sleep. As Nagut as Amu stated this, Naruto would yell, You're wide open. As he would then use piercing wind to cut his hand off. And then he would use Sky Dragon Dance just to kill him. His head would roll as Naruto would state that that fight was too easy. As Enmu would then begin to talk, as Naruto would open his eyes to see what he thought was impossible. That worried look. Are you confused? You shouldn't be. I mean, I'm not the real demon's body. Hell, the head you're talking to isn't real either. Because the real demon body... As Enmu's head began to grow a very muscular, uh, tentacle thing from the train. My real body is fused with the train. But, hearing this, Naruto began to chuckle, even laugh a lot. What's so funny? As Naruto would explain the flaws on his plan. If you're fused with the train, then you can just tell people to not go on this train. As Enmu realized that... He's kind of right, and what he did was a bit stupid, but he wouldn't show it. I can kill everybody in this train right now. As Naruto would state, yeah, but with the flame Hashira and how fast he is, I highly doubt it. I also have my friend Zenitsu, who is known to be, is known to have the thunder um, breathing style, which is another fast style. To be honest, you killing all these people is a slim chance. And we we'll start to get a bit angry. Naruto, knowing that he put um that he put Emu off his flow, would try and relay this information to Nagato. Nagato, uh, uh then he would see Tanjiro and Rengoku starting to get up. Rengoku, Naruto would then tell the three. So listen, the demon is the train. As Tanjiro had a bit of a worried look, Rengoku would just smile. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be hard to kill him then. As Naruto would ask what he means. Rengoku states that there's only two options. The head is most likely at the front of the train. All you gotta do is just cut off the head. Around then, the entire walls, floor, and ceiling of the train began to get a muscular, fleshy, um, coating. But we better hurry. As Naruto would then look at Tanjiro. Me and Tanjiro can handle the train demon. Tanjiro would nod his head in agreement. Naruto, after explaining how to beat, how uh, to uh, pretty much uh, his blood demon art, Tanjiro would state that this might be a bit harder, but he can still use his sense of smell. They would get on the rooftops and run directly towards the front. As Rengoku would look at the tentacles trying to kill the people. What an ugly mess. As Rengoku and Nagito would use breathing styles to destroy the tentacles. Around this time, Zenitsu, Nezuko, and Iznosuke were actually woken up to help. Now we cut to the front of the train with Naruto and Tanjiro. Naruto would use the Eye of Storm constant. Naruto would point at the middle of the train. That's probably where the neck is. Tanjiro would jump down and use Waterfall Bison. It would reveal the spine. That's a tiger, Tanjiro exclaims. As a giant eye would grow from the side of the train, looking at Tanjiro's direction. As it began to say sleep, Naruto would yell Raijin's wrath and have a giant downward strike onto the eye. Can't let that thing put you to sleep, alright? As giant tentacles 
as a sorry, as the train would boost the size of the front, giant tentacles would try and kill Tanjiro and Naruto. They would jump from tentacle to tentacle to try and uh, get to the bottom, but they it kept them pushing so Naruto and Tanjiro would stay at the top. Well, I mean, like high, far from the spine. Sorry. Because of uh, Naruto's Eye of Storm constant, he pretty much dodged every single eye that tried to put him to sleep. And every single eye that tried to put Tanjiro to sleep was pretty much killed. Tanjiro would be using constant flux as Naruto would be using Sky Dragon Dance to destroy pretty much any tentacle that tried killing them. Inosuke would then run to the front of the train using Crazy Cut to destroy all the tentacles from the base, which gave him enough time for Naruto to use Raijin's Wrath to cut a very deep cut into the spine. Then, sorry, then Tanjiro would ask his father to bring him some strength as he would then yell clear blue skies, ending the demon off. But, because of this, the train was about to derail. Naruto, seeing this, activated his one-tailed state. I can slow down the train if I can use my claws and make it go at a slower pace. Although, this might be a bit hard. You guys need to make sure all the passengers stay safe. As Naruto would begin to jump off the train, he would run at the train's speed. He would then use one tail to grab at the train and try and slow it down, but it wasn't working. Shit, I'm only slowing down the middle. The front and uh, the end aren't slowing down with me. As Nagato would see Naruto, he would open a window. Naruto, calm down and focus. I'm trying, Nagato, sir. If you keep this up, I could probably stop the train with one of my techniques. Just calm down and start breathing. Then, Nagato would shut the door and go on the rooftops himself. He would run faster than the train speed. Naruto would think. He would think to all the people he might lose if he doesn't get this done here and now. Rengoku, his uncle Rengoku, the person who taught him the flame-breathing style in the first place. The only person besides Gyu who knew his father and mother. Naruto would activate his two-tailed state. Two -tailed state. He thought of Tanjiro and Nezuko. They were pretty much brother and sister to him. Zenitsu, a person, Zenitsu and Inosuke, people he cared for. And Nagato, a person who was ready to help him, even though they don't know each other. And of course, the 200 passengers, who would die because they were simply people. He would activate his two-tail state and make one tail go for, uh, hold the back of the train, and the other tail to hold the front of the train. Who then begin to slow down speed, which it actually helped this time. Nagato would jump in front of the train, as she would then yell, "Almighty push!" A gust of wind would force the train to dead stop, and this would cause Naruto to keep on running without realizing it and start to stumble. But Nagato caught him. It's okay, Naruto. You did enough. Nagato would set Naruto on his back. Just breathe. After a few minutes, Rengoku walked up to Nagato. All 300 passengers on board are safe. All 200, sorry. Passengers on board are safe, announced Rengoku. Nagato would look up to the sky, around a half an hour till daybreak. As then they heard a giant crash. Good. That's one half an hour. That's one. Sorry. That's a half an hour for me to kick your ass. Nagato and Goku and Naruto look at the unfamiliar voice. That's as Nagato would exhale. Great, Upper Moon Three, just just to make our job even harder. Naruto would see what they're talking about and he would recognize that's Akaza, the third Upper Moon. Nagato, Nagato got into a fighting stance. Naruto, can you move? As Naruto tried. No, Nagato. As Nagato would yell, Goku, take Naruto and get him to a safe distance. Nagato, the demon who overcame the sun, I'm honored to fight you.
but sadly, I have to take those eyes from you. Nagato would use a concentrated Shinra Tensei, or an almighty push, to keep Akiza at bay, but Akiza dodged it and he went for an air type attack. He would then shoot a giant punch, um, which was compressed air, but when Goku would block it with his sword. As a Hashira, I must fight alongside my friends to protect these people, Rengoku said proudly. Nagato and Rengoku would double team. Pretty much the whole strategy is Rengoku would go for heavy attacks, and every single time it seemed like Rengoku was about to get hit, Nagato would use Chibaku Tensei to pull him back. Nagato would then use a concentrated uh, almighty push for a, or a Shinra Tensei to push, not, uh, push Akaza back. Eventually, Nagato was able to get him into his strongest technique, Planetary Devastation. He would then smash the giant rock onto Akusa. He tried dodging it, but the only part of his body that actually survived it was his head, a bit of his shoulder, and one arm. Nagato looked at the sky. Ten minutes until sunrise. Looks like you're fucked. <laughs> as, uh, as Akusa is trying to get freed, he's pretty much crawling, begging to get this thing off him as... Nagato states that the only time he's probably going to get off is around sunrise, which means that when it gets off, you, as Nagato would put a finger around his neck and make a slicing motion, get off. Agus, uh pretty much is begging and pleading, I have so much to live for, as Nagato states, and so do these 200 passengers, and yet you want to take that chance away from them, how selfish can you be? As Akiza would try and remember all of the times he could have died and yet someone else had to save him. That pissed him off. Eventually, sunrise was about to come, but Akiza, with sheer willpower, got out from under the wall of rock, uh, sorry, from under the rock and was able to regenerate the rest of his body. He then began to run away. And Goku was about to chase after him, but Nagato would stop him. Look, we've done enough work for the day. Besides, if he tries something again, we'll just kill him. As Rengoku would nod. Uh. Nagato would carry Naruto. As Naruto would state that Nagato's hair is very beautiful, Nagato would laugh. They would then check if all everybody's okay without any broken bones, as they found out out of the 200 passengers, only 5 were injured. And those 5 were the Demon Slayers. Naruto would black out. Then he would wake up in the butterfly state. What am I doing here? Naruto would ask. As Aoi would walk up to Naruto. You need to stop coming here, you know? It's really annoying. You have, let's see, one broken rib, well, cracked rib, lucky for you, and a broken leg. Great. As Naruto would look down, I'm sorry. As I always say, don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to. I I'm sorry if I, I butchered that name. I really cannot pronounce her name. I think it's Kanel. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Yeah. Don't get mad at me if I say her name wrong. You promised her to go on a date, and now look at you. You got to take on a date here. As Naruto would say sorry again. Aoi would leave in Kona Konao? Konao? Ko Kono? <laughs> I can't say her name for the life of me. Shit. She would walk into the room worried. She wouldn't ask if Naruto's okay, so Naruto would just simply say sorry, but she would smack him. Don't say sorry for something like that. You saved people's lives. As Naruto would begin to laugh, she would ask what's funny, as Naruto would stay. Oh, you didn't even have to flip a coin for that one, did you? As she would kind of blush a little. As Naruto would simply smile. Good. It's okay to be mad. And that is the last part of what if Naruto was in Demon Slayer. Well, last part so far. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, like and subscribe if you want some more. Um, I'm not going to do any more of this what if until the season 2 is either completely done or I caught up in the manga. And the season 2 one's probably going to be done before that because I'm like reading One Piece right now. So yeah, they're not. <laughs> um, 
yeah, I hope you do enjoy. I know this is, wasn't as long. It wasn't as long as I hoped. I thought it would be like 40 minutes long because of how much I wrote. But, hey, you know, it's either, it's either, you know, it's gotta, I mean, 18 minutes is great, bro. And it's going to be like 20 minutes when I'm done. I'm talking too much. Goodbye and have a lovely day.